What I want to do in this video is talk a little bit more about the concept of an organelle. Organelle. And as you can see, it contains the word organ. And that's because the idea of an organelle is related to the idea of an organ. If you're talking about a human being, if you're talking about me, I have a liver. A liver is an organ. I have lungs. I have a heart. These are substructures of sal. Similarly, similarly, an organelle is a substructure of the cell. Substructure. You could view it as a, almost an organ of the cell. Substructure. Structure of the cell. And actually, let me be a little bit more particular there. Membrane bound cell, membrane bound structure of cell. Membrane, membrane bound structure of cell. So, for example, let me draw a cell. So, that is my cell right over here. We're already familiar with the idea of a nucleus. A nucleus is a membrane, a membrane, membrane bound structure. So it is an it is an organelle, nucleus. We've talked about the endoplasmic reticulum, which is also an M, a a membrane bound structure. So it is also an organelle. We have talked about Golgi bodies. We have talked about Golgi bodies. Once again, membrane, membrane bound structures. So it is also an organelle. So that's Golgi, Golgi body right over there. We have a we have the endoplasmic reticulum right over there. And by this definition, even these small little vesicles, these little membranes that are carrying things around, even these vesicles could be considered to be organelles. Vesicle. And if you have really large vesicles or a bunch of these vesicles fused together, you have these larger membrane bound structures called vacuoles, which are really could just be really viewed as large vesicles or a bunch of vesicles fused together. Vacuoles, vacuoles. All of these things, these are all membrane bound structures inside the cell, and so these are all considered organelles. Now, some people are a little bit more particular when they really talk about organelles. They say, okay, you know, we could say maybe membrane membrane bound structures, but there are some organelles that are not only membrane bound, but they also have their own DNA. For example, for example, you have mitochondria, which I will do in pink. You have mitochondria, which exist in most eukaryotes. And this is really the energy producing i guess you could say the the energy factory of the cell mito let me draw it like this it has a it has an inner and an outer membrane so that right over there is mitochondria where the energy it really takes sugars and is able to take that sugar chemical energy and turn it into atp which i guess is still chemical energy but a more useful or a more a more readily used form of energy mito mitochondria in plants you have plastids so in plants you have plastids and the most famous or at least from our point of view the most famous of these are chloroplasts where photosynthesis takes place where you're taking light energy and turning that into chemical energy in the form of sugars so this right over here this is a chloroplast let me we go into much more detail about with those when we talk about photosynthesis so that right over there a chloroplast which is which is a more which is a more particular form of a plastid so i just drew a chloroplast chloroplast but that's a more particular form of a plastid it also it also has its own dna and so mitochondria and chlor and plastids generally are, are are fascinating because it is believed because they have their own DNA and they can they can replicate themselves that it's believed that they that their ancestors were once independent prokaryotes and at some point these independent prokaryotes started to get together and into a membrane bound structures started to work together in symbiosis and that though that kind of that co collaborative of these prokaryotes working together is believed to be the predecessor of say a, a modern many modern cells that contain these structures so it's a really fascinating window into how these things actually might have 
formed. But the big picture here that I just want to uh, make sure we understand is an organelle is really, it's, it's generally viewed as any membrane-bound structure, anything as simple as a vesicle, all the way to something that has its own DNA, like mitochondria or plastids.